weenie dess a weenie mm wah I'm a weenie ish Kadiddly doo ba a dick mm wah back up at the cabin and the temperature has dropped yeah it's like much cooler than it was last time we it's were here we all got our jackets on yeah so what do you have a whistle for oh um in case something bad happens like a snake or a mountain lion all those kinds of white land or you get lost Somebody woke up. Did you sleep good last night, big girl? Last night, Janae randomly woke up at about 4 a.m. She doesn't do that very much anymore. Every year, Kendra's family has a reunion. They call it the Family Blast. And it begins tonight. Families start showing up here at the cabin. We always have a lot of fun. What are you guys working on? I'm writing book. a book. I'm writing a book. What's your book about? Zodiac. What about the zodiac? So like, depending on which category you're in, like which month you were born and when you were born, you have a different sign, mm -hmm. you have like a different power, and you have different characteristics. So it's and like that, everyone's superheroes based on yeah, their kind of. zodiac? Sounds fun. Mine is called Magnificent. They travel into a different world by a watch. <laughs> cool. Well, I love your guys' creativity. Keep working on it. Hopefully it holds you guys. Of course, I think I weigh more than all of you guys put together. So really? We're good. Yeah. It's always fun to see what the kids decide to do for fun when they don't have any TV or internet or video games. Caleb had me draw it. It's gonna be mean. A mean like demon? Yes. <laughs> she turns into a booger. <laughs> no, it's not a booger. Today I'm working on the 12s for multiplication. So I didn't memorize these when I was in school. We only went up to 10. So can I learn with you? Yeah. Elisa and I have been working on actions to remember each different number. Four times three is 36. 12 times three is 36. 36 of them are 48. 48 peas are on my plate. 12 times four is 48. 12 times seven is 84. 84 surfers on their board. 84. So we're using the Good and the Beautiful's musical multiplication program. We've liked it. Honestly, anything that puts the multiplication tables to music I think is a great resource because Elise loves learning through music and I think it really helps it stick. Do you want to build a snowman? So we recently introduced Janae to Frozen and she has really liked it. She pretends like she's Elsa for a lot of the day. Well, a snowman. Like that round hole. Did you snort? So my mom's least favorite chore is cleaning the oven, so I want to surprise her with a clean oven today. The way we do it is we take baking soda, douse it with water, and then we usually let it sit overnight and it just wipes clean. I don't know if we're going to have time, so we're doing it this morning and try to let it sit most of the day. It's amazing though, after you do this it just wipes clean and you don't have that like stinky chemical smell of oven cleaners. My hand's getting tired, time for the double handed spray. I need to build up my finger muscles apparently. Magnificent and the Forgotten World. Do you think there are other worlds? Chapter one. Do you think there are other worlds? Asked Miss Ward. Ellis raised her hand and said, well, there might be, but no one knows yet. Correct, Miss Smith. There might be some that are not yet discovered. And Alice is really smart and she loves to read, write, and play. She is an average looking sixth grader and has a twin that looks the same, but he's a boy and hates everything she likes. So what do you like about writing? Um, how you can use your creativity for anything. You can make up a whole world. Mm -hmm. Beep, beep, beep. 
Brian Sanders smacked the alarm clock with the palm of his hand followed by another smack to the head. Dolan thought Brian out loud. It's a Saturday, I could have slept in. Brian glanced to the side and towards his clock. It read 6.02. Brian rolled over in his bed and tried to fall asleep again. After what felt like hours, he finally gave up and rolled out of bed. Then he remembered, this wasn't just any Saturday. Yesterday was the last day of school, which meant today was the first day of summer. Well, these boys have spent over an hour just sitting here writing and then reading different parts to each other and talking about it and making changes. I love that they're really getting into the creative process of writing and the hard work that it takes to tell a story. All right, well, Elise and I are shopping today. We are in charge of the breakfast bar for the entire family blast. That's four days of breakfast for 25 people. And so we definitely need to do some grocery shopping. We have some yummy stuff planned. Okay, I just searched through my bag and I cannot find my grocery list anywhere, which is weird because I actually drove away from the cabin, forgot the grocery list, turned around, went back to get the grocery list, and now I still can't find it. I think I must have gone inside and gotten distracted and left without it. How ridiculous is that? Luckily, I remember a bunch of it, but Man, I really wanted that list. We need so much milk. Load it up. I'm really grateful we have two refrigerators at the cabin. You guys making up for it? Yeah. Great. There's drumstick cereal. This definitely looks like a treat. It looks too desserty for breakfast. I agree. Okay, well I think we got everything. I'm a little bit worried that we have way too much food, and then I'm also worried we don't have enough. It's so hard to plan for a large group of people, but everything looks delicious. So if there's some leftovers, we'll manage. Of course we will. We decided to do eggs for lunch because the eggs are about to go bad and we have a lot of them. Laura wanted to help. I. I'm so good at cracking eggs. Yeah, it just takes practice, huh? Yep. I also decided to saute some onions and garlic to eat with the eggs. Did it's a shell fall shell. in? Yep, it's a shell. You got it out? Yep. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. You did a great job with the eggs. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Enjoy Thanks, the food. Dad. So I just got home and my grocery shopping list is right here on the counter, which is so funny. How did I come back to get it and still forget it? But I looked over it and here's the amazing part. I actually remembered everything. So feeling pretty good about that. I'm done, Dad. These boys did not want to break away from riding. I think you need to eat at least seven more bites. Big bites. Don't give me any of that little weak sauce bite. Good bite. So I made the mistake of not buckling in Janae to her chair. So every bite, she's taking a bite and then like running off to do something then coming back for a bite. So this has been sitting for six hours. We're hoping that it's long enough. Look, I mean, that's pretty clean. Yeah. All right, well, it definitely works better if you leave it to sit longer, but it's working. It's going to be cleaner than it was before, which is the goal. Well, it's not perfect, but it's better. So yesterday we weren't vlogging and it was a really busy day. The kind of day Jeremy was up at like 5.20, working all day on the computer, conference calls, phone calls, all sorts of work type stuff. I was doing a lot of work as well, lots of details, planning for the upcoming move for our family to Puerto Rico, just so much was going on. And it was a hard day for me emotionally because I wasn't able to be the mom that I wanted to be yesterday. I feel like all day my kids were trying to tell me stuff, needing my attention, and I was like, not right now, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. And I just hate that feeling. I know it's just part of being a kid. Kids have to learn to be patient and wait for when their parents are available, but it's also part of being a parent is learning when to stop what I'm doing and sit down and look in my kids' eyes and listen to them. And I feel like yesterday, the balance was all off. At the end of the day, I just felt like I spent the whole day turning away the most important people in my life and I hated that feeling. So today I'm really excited to take time to talk to each of my kids, to hear what's on their mind and how they're feeling about everything that's going on and all the transitions and spend time with them. But again, it's a busy day. We're prepping for my family to come. We have a bunch of cleaning to do, shopping. That life balance, it's tough. 
But with the family showing up later this evening, we're trying to clean up. Kendra's making dinner. <laughs> I am. My sister's driving in with her kids, and we figured little kids like pasta, so we're doing a pasta. creamy chicken alfredo. <laughs> so the kids are taking turns making up commercials and putting on shows for each other. Again, just another advantage of not watching TV. They become their own form of entertainment. Okay, so last night while we were driving up to the cabin, we took some time to learn a girls camp song from mom. It's some song I think her mom taught her. Kumalada, kumalada, kumanavisa. Oh, no, 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 not the visa. In a mini desolini, uwa, amini, uchaka, 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 to let us know when the car is coming. So in the last few minutes before family starts to arrive, the kids are playing on the zip line and they have invented, while they've been here, many different ways to go down. They've given names Actually, to Actually, Jake and Sarah made the, our favorites, the first two that we're gonna do. So some of the other cousins also made some of these, right? They, they helped. All right, what's the first one? Save the world. Save the world. Go long. Kumarada, kumarada, kumalavista. Oh, no, 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 not the vista. This one is named Daredevil. Kumarada, kumarada, kumalavista. All right, this one's called Circus. Is it a spinning one? Is that the idea? Eeny, weeny, tessalini, umma, amalini, ish. Kadiddly doo ba, a dick, ma, dick. Tinnerbell! <laughs> Janae's ringing it. He's doing time travel. Time traveler. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're gonna get here when we're eating dinner. That's how it always goes. Yeah. All right, we've got chicken, broccoli, noodles, and a white Alfredo ish sauce. Yum. I like how thick and rich it looks. It's funny not having cell reception because usually when people come to visit us now, I know pretty much exactly when they're gonna arrive, but we just know it's gonna be about between 6 and 8 p.m. And so I keep looking down the street, listening for cars, because we're so excited to see everybody. Hopefully they get here soon. We just heard honking. <laughs> Jenny's like, get me out of here. Okay, high five again. High five. Yes. Apparently, Levi's most recent word is stinky, so we're very proud of that. Can you say stinky? I'm stinky. I'm stinky. <laughs> he even has the context. That was a sentence. Yeah. So we've been prepping Janae for the last week that when her cousins come, she's gonna share with them. So as soon as she saw Levi, she was like, share, my dog, share. And she came inside and she's sharing. We'll see how long this lasts, but I'm glad that she's at least starting with sharing as her mindset. Janae, are you sharing? I'm so proud of you. Great job sharing. We're seeing who's taller. He's in shoes though. They look about the same. <laughs> the dance is happening. More family has just arrived. <laughs> the celebration. The celebration. They brought their doggy. Chip. Parker, you shaved your head. Gemma. She said he's not to. What are you guys doing? Who disappeared? Trap. You burn my Uncle Michael's headlamp? Yeah, it really helps. It's a trap. Awesome. Yeah, let's go work on the finish line. <laughs> We're gonna make lots of different races. So I actually have a lot of fun memories of playing with my cousins out in the woods and I'm so grateful that my kids are getting that experience.
I remember when Laura used to wear these jammas and sing Frozen songs. Well, now that the sun is down, the stars are incredible tonight. These are one of those moments where I should be putting the kids to bed, but they're having so much fun with their cousins that I think I'm gonna give them a little bit longer. Good night, Jay House out. She just woke up and I walked in and she goes, well, I'm ready for breakfast. There it is. <laughs>